As part of the jockey pathway, today we're going to show you how to make a very simple, easy to prepare curry with rice. This will cost you a fraction of what you'll pay in the takeaway. It'll also save you time if you make enough to freeze and use later on in the week. You can add lots of vegetables and even nuts and raisins to add flavour and bulk up the meal with extra vitamins and minerals. Why not try using wholemeal rice instead of white rice? Uh, it's a much healthier option that keeps you feeling fuller for longer and increases the fibre in your diet. So now we're going to prep our chicken. We have to remember when we're using chicken that we don't cross contaminate, so we use a clean board and a clean knife. And remember to get rid of it afterwards. We want to dice this chicken up to similar size pieces so that it cooks at the same time. And again, we can trim off any pieces of fat that we don't like. I'm just going to wash my hands on the knife after. Now we're going to place some oil into our pot and turn on the heat to fry off our chicken. Again, we're using two tablespoons of oil, and we want to make sure it's good and hot before we add the chicken into the pot. Okay, so once the pot is good and hot, we're going to add in the chicken. And we're going to get rid of this chopping board. If you're using the same one, please make sure to wash it properly with hot soapy water. And then we're going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper in with our chicken couple of pinches of each and we need a small spoon just to give the chicken a stir. And now we're going to prep our veg. We're going to start with our onions, peel the skin. Now we're going to dice these onions into cubes to be similar sizes as the chicken. So we, again, making sure with a sharp knife you keep your fingers back and away. And then we move on to our carrots. And as the carrots are the hardest vegetable we're using here, we want to cut them up the smallest. So that they all cook at the same time, so we cut the carrots a little bit smaller than everything else. And we're just going to check our chicken and give it a little stir. Making sure we're getting some colour, but we're not sticking too much to the bottom of the pot. And then I move on to our mushrooms. We're just going to slice these up, not too small. And we're going to move on to our peppers. So again, we need to slice down into the pepper and just pull out the seeds. And again, we can cut out any of the white membrane from the middle. The vegetables are interchangeable, so you use vegetables that you like. But just remember, harder vegetables take longer to cook, so you cut them up smaller. And then last, we're going to crush some garlic. And then we just chop that up rough. I'm going to add my veg into my pot with my chicken. So we pick up our vegetables and throw them in the pot. Once we get all the vegetables and ingredients into the pot, we want to make sure we don't let it burn. And then we're going to make up our curry sauce and add it in. Now, so making up our curry sauce, if you're using a packet of curry sauce, 
always read the packet. They have the best instructions for how to mix it up. But with powder, normally, you have to mix the curry powder into some cold water before adding it into the hot pot. So we're gonna make up for six portions. Having read the packet, we're using a half a tub of this curry sauce with just a small amount of water to make a paste. So having made the curry powder into a paste with the water, we're then gonna take our kettle of boiling water and add it into our pot with our vegetables. We're gonna need enough water just to cover over the ingredients. So you just want to cover the vegetables, cover the chicken. We're gonna let that cook, just make sure the water's good and hot. And then we're gonna add in our curry paste. Once the curry paste goes in, it's important to keep stirring it so that it goes in nice and evenly. Now, we're gonna allow that to simmer for about 20 minutes to thicken up and to allow the vegetables and the chicken to cook out. We're now going to cook our rice. We have boil in the bag rice here today to keep it nice and simple. And generally, one bag is about a portion and a half. So for five portions, we're gonna use three bags. Always placing rice into boiling water, making sure there's enough water to easily cover the rice. This is 10 minute boil in the bag rice. Ergo, it'll be 10 minutes. So having strained off the rice, we just give it a little minute to drain out. And then we're gonna check if the chicken in our curry is cooked. So we root out the biggest piece of chicken and we cut into the middle of it to check that it is cooked and how we know it's cooked. It's even color all the way through with no pink. And that seems fine. We're gonna turn off our curry sauce there. So now we're gonna plate it up, but we need to take our bag of rice and cut into the top of it. And remember that one bag is about a portion and a half. So we're gonna place that out onto the plate. How do you know is the rice cooked? You take a little piece of rice and bite into it. And if it's soft all the way through, it's cooked. If it's a little bit hard, it needs a good couple of minutes. And then we take our curry. Again, we're always mindful of portion size. And we like to get plenty of vegetables with the chicken and a bit of extra sauce. And there's our chicken curry. So this is enough to do five portions, one on the plate and four to be saved for later. They can be frozen or placed in the refrigerator once they're fully cooled. They'll last five days in the fridge and up to three or four months in the freezer. <laughs>